Okay, so on the G37 Coupe 2008, we have issues with moisture on the bottom, on where the floor is. There's, it's like stained and we believe it is coming from the sunroof drain with the, the hose that goes down the A-pillar. So what we'll have to do is look at the drain up here. We're gonna pour some water in it in a bit and see where it comes out. So we believe it's leaking somewhere in here, going down the dash to the floorboard. And usually that sunroof drain comes down here and exits through that drain right there, a little rubber grommet in between right there. But we'll go ahead and check it out and see if we can fix the issue. Okay, everyone. So what we're doing is we're removing this A-pillar trim right here. So what I had to do was I took a flathead screwdriver, wrap it with a paper towel, um, just so you don't scratch up anything. And then you wedge it. <laughs> okay, what we're doing is we're actually, so this trim right here, we removed this by wedging a flathead screwdriver under this trim right here and then you get it so you you basically force your force the entry in there and then you tap this that way and it pops the top trim first once you pop the top top and you can get a grip slowly pull away and i'll show you so you pull away like this and then this bends out this way And then you can see where it clips in. These two go into those slots in the dash. Red snap hooks to that. And this other pin connects to right here. So we wanted access to this drain. We're gonna figure out where it's leaking. And then we have to remove the panel on the bottom as well pick it to pull up the carpet. Okay. All right, so next thing we wanna do is we need to remove this trim right here. It goes all the way back here. So this pulls back this way. So you, you pop it back. So like so actually you have to push it sideways first. Push it that way. And it unhooks this that, that one. Right. Okay, so next thing we want to do is remove this trim right here. So this pops this way out. You can see pull this and then once you get it right there you push everything up all the way and then that's how it connects these little slats pop into these plastic clips all the way all right, we're gonna set that aside and then now you have this panel so in order to remove this panel push this out like that and those clips go in that hole right there and that hole. Once you do that, I think this is missing a nut. Usually there should be a nut right there that's holding it to the firewall right there. But then you have this off, set that aside. the rug and figure out so kind of dirty it should be vacuumed but this rust marks right here corrosion on the aluminum so water is getting in here somewhere so pulling this up And it looks like it's glued down. Yeah, 
So it's this like a rubber material, almost like dynamat. Let's keep it on. So we're looking for moisture, and yeah, there's a little bit of moisture right there. So the foam kind of just sits in those channels right there Don't with double-sided sticky tape. Move this out of the way. Yeah. So there's moisture right here. It's not too bad. So what we'll do is we'll pour water down the drain and see where the water leaks. If you look at it, all the way up under the dash, there, there's the drain. And that one goes through, it looks like it goes through the firewall. So we'll have to see if water is getting to that point and getting clogged. Okay, so we're looking at the, the drain, the sunroof drain is kind of hard to see. But it's, if you look closely under that bar right there, the railing, there's a little hole and it's a drain. Okay, so water is coming from higher up here. Let me focus so I can see. Okay, okay go ahead. All right, here we go. Oh, I look like I drained fine. Okay, so we looked at the drain, the drain is clear. So we're tr still trying to figure out, maybe there's another seal that's leaking. But now we're gonna get a water hose and spray it on the car. We're gonna see if we can pinpoint where it's leaking. We want to know why water is getting in. Ready? Yep. Oh, stop. Stop. Okay. Where's it coming from? Right here. Huh? It's leaking. I saw it right here somehow. What's that? 
There was water, a stream of water coming in right here. Okay, so that door seal's leaking. Yeah, that's what the problem is. See? <laughs> okay, so we think it's the door seal. We think it's this door seal right here. Ready? Yeah. Okay, stop. So it's definitely leaking right there, right here. Okay. So I've never changed the door seal before. Mm, that's a pain, yeah. Is it? Yeah. I would open. Okay, so we found out it's the door seal. So we pulled this apart. We're gonna try to, there's Phillips screws along here. And just keep removing all the Phillips screws and then we'll try to replace this if we can. A little pin right here. Alright, I'm just gonna keep going along the panel. Okay, so I purchased some black adhesive sealant, and what I did was I resealed this. You pull this up, this whole seal, I pulled it, and I put sealant in between, and then I re resealed all of this with sealing. So I used almost about almost the whole thing. And we'll see if it stops the leak. Alright, now I'm putting back putting everything back together. So I'm gonna put the carpet back. Now this panel. Screw in the back first. Right there. And then make sure right, that one's lined up. Okay. Once it's lined up, then you push down. Push it towards. There. I try not to force anything. I don't like um, breaking any of these pieces. So this pillar goes back up. So line up the bottom first. lined up and then make sure that these it looks like the previous owner smoked cigarettes so it looks like burn marks right there so I'll have to get another panel So this, this is the one, the rubber seal that has sealing on it. And I also put sealing right here as well, along this wall. Okay. 
So with this panel, you want to attach that rear first. It fits even better than when we bought the car. Yeah. Okay, so I used masking tape. It's still leaking. I don't really want to replace the the seal around here. So I'm I got some RTV and I'm just basically seeing if I can patch it all up and create a better seal. So it's kind of like doing tile. You like filling in mortar for tile. So I taped it off so it doesn't get onto the, the pillar right there. And then I just have it on a little box. I squeeze the, the Permatex RTV, black RTV. I'm gonna spread it on there pretty evenly. You don't want to get this stuff anywhere. This is pretty permanent. So what we're doing is we're packing it in there right now. And then we're gonna come back and use our finger to wipe the seal. Make sure you have gloves on. So the main issue was near the bottom right here. So make sure you pack it on pretty well right here. And now I'm going to take my finger, glove, and smooth it out. There's a 
hole cut right there. So wipe my finger clean. So you don't want to push down way too hard. Just And just keep switching fingers until you need a new glove. All right, new glove. Okay, just change out my glove. And uh, look at the rubber seal specifically. Um, it, this tape doesn't really matter because all this is, the masking tape is going to come off. So I'm going to make sure there's no weird bubble or spots where there's too much RTV sealant. So I'm going back. I'm going to do the bottom piece right here too. It's, uh, it's leaking somewhere around there. I don't know exactly where it's leaking. I just know that the seal is a common issue. Make sure it looks pretty good. We're looking at the seal, not the masking tape. I just kept changing out my gloves, new gloves again. But you just want to make sure once this dries, it looks nice. Okay, so we're gonna let it get a little tacky and dry. And then we'll pull away the masking tape. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull away the masking tape. I don't want it to pull the sealant off later. Yeah, this is what we have so far. And I'm cleaning up the, the rubber seal right here. 
So before it dries, you can actually clean it up a little. So overall, it looks okay. Better than spending $250 for a seal. But we'll see if it stops the water from leaking in. Okay, we want to see if there's still water in here. Alright, doesn't look like there's that much water in there. I'm going to go ahead and try to dry it up. Okay, so here's the repair we did the other day. And I just wanted to make sure it's fixed. So, yep, no more leak. And you can see kind of the sealant right here. It's a little crooked, but it's not really noticeable when we're back here. But it did the job. Just a little bit of silicone sealant. No more leaks.